Hey there, everybody. It's David Smania with Brand Rocket. Um, we're going to continue the series with Unbounce and how to optimize your account, your landing pages in particular. Um, you, we, I've probably done, I think, eight videos so far. I'm adding a new one that just covers A-B testing. Uh, A-B testing is something that we do quite often with clients. It's really, really important in order to see what works and what doesn't with your landing page experience. And fortunately, Unbounce has the, a, a great A-B testing tool where you can actually create copies of different variants and be able to test them against each other. Um, it's really important when you're testing like headlines or images and, and uh, there's a whole bunch of different things you can test. Uh, I'll talk in more detail about that because you have to be careful not to test too many at once, right? And it's really dependent on the, tr the level of traffic you have, but it's really, really important for that post-click experience. We, we optimize um, the click experience all day long, right? So through Google and through Facebook and LinkedIn and all these other channels, then we're sending traffic to a landing page. And if you're spending money on that traffic, it's, it's really, really incredibly important that you're, that you're measuring and you're watching to make sure that post-click experience is optimized and you can literally move the needle without spending any additional money on advertising you can move the needle and drive those conversions up just by making simple changes on your landing page right and unbounce again makes that incredibly easy to do I will mention um, there is a page on the brand rocket website uh, brandrocket.net forward slash CRO where I talk about conversion rate optimization in fact there's a video down at the bottom that I would highly recommend uh, watching and it's the revenue impact of CRO okay so again without spending any additional money on advertising you can drive more conversions increase your conversion rate just by spending time doing intelligent testing uh, through Unbounce or any other platform that you might be using but of course this video focuses primarily or specifically rather on Unbounce okay so let's get started So um, if you're new to Unbounce, I do want to mention um, there is a fantastic deal that you can get through BrandRocket forward slash, I'm sorry, BrandRocket.net forward slash Unbounce, where you can get 20% off your first three months or 35% off your first full year. I believe it's a 14 day trial. Um, so go to again, BrandRocket.net forward slash Unbounce and uh, click on the link. Uh, this is also included in the notes below that, you know, so you can just go ahead and take advantage of that particular offer. All right, so let's get into it. Um, we are going to jump into the Unbounce account and you can see that I have a bunch of pages that are already set up. Now, um, this, these pages were created in, in previous videos. So we have, uh, we have this this project that we did where we we looked at a story brand template. You know, you have a different frameworks that you will. If you take any copywriting course, you're going to see this. You have different frameworks such as AIDA, A I D A, which is attention, interest, desire, action. And then, of course, another popular one is PAS, problem, agitation, solution. In this case, we we focused on story brand. I happen to be a big fan of story brand. It's one of my favorite books. Um, and I found a template that was for sale for three hundred dollars. And we said, okay, let's see if we can emulate this template in Unbounce. So that was what this was all about. So we have these template or, or these um, <clears throat> Unbounce landing pages that are, uh, again, crafted uh, or, or inspired by, uh, you know, the, the story brand uh, template that we found online. If you're interested, please check that, check out that video. It's almost an hour long, but it goes through how to create a landing page from scratch. So really, really helpful. So now that we have that, we can go into... Um, We'll go into this story brand. You can see that there's, I already configured one here. Okay, so let's take a look at that. Of course, this is not live, so we don't have a lot of traffic. We, in fact, the only traffic I'm getting on this is, is just my own traffic when I'm, when I'm doing the videos. But you can see down here, this was configured um, where we have, and this was just configured a couple of days ago, where we have an A-B test underway. We have one uh, landing page, which is called Financial Services. We have another one called Unlock Dream Retirement. And we have a 50-50 distribution, okay? So when traffic goes to this page, and I'm gonna bring it up right now. So this is lp.brandrocket.net, so landingpage.brandrocket.net. And by the way, I have another video on how to create these custom URLs for your Unbound, so be sure to check that out. Um, 
So we have this A-B testing where 50% of the traffic goes here, and then 50% of the traffic also goes to another version. And I'm gonna bring that up in a different browser. Um, so when you're testing, you have to do it in different browsers and make sure you go into incognito mode because it's not going to just randomly change every time. It writes a specific version to the cookie and then it's, you're gonna get the same version over and over again uh, within your, your browser. So in this case, I, I used Opera. I went to the website and you can see this one shows unlock your dream retirement. In this case, it's an A-B test on the headline, right? So this browser shows that. And then if somebody came on a mobile device, they would. It, it's purely random as to which version they get, but it allows you to be able to uh, test things. And if you have enough traffic running to your site, in fact, it's a great idea to do this and then run, you know, fairly cheap traffic. You can run traffic through, through Facebook or, or Instagram. Um, you don't necessarily have to be paying like gigantic uh, CPCs or, or cost per click through Google. You can actually run a lot of traffic through different channels and be able to test your messaging. Okay. Really, really important for upper funnel, mid funnel marketing um, and be able to figure out what resonates and what doesn't. Okay. So that's, that's what we're, our goal is. So let's jump back over into Unbounce. So we have uh, the, the two versions here, financial services in Unlock Dream Retirement. Now I'm going to create another one and then we'll have three and then I'm gonna set the weight to 33.3% on each one. Okay, so let's go through that now. Um, I'm going to say, okay, edit. Uh, now this, let me just go through this really quick. So I can, I can create, um, I can just edit this page here I can preview, I can go to preview mode, I can duplicate, okay, just create another copy of it. I can create a new page, completely new page from the variant. Um, <clears throat> I can move it to another page or I can deactivate this variant. In this particular case, I am going to duplicate because all we're going to do is just create another headline. We're, gonna, we're pretending that we're going to be testing three different headlines, okay? Um, I will cover these other options here shortly, but let's just go ahead and duplicate to give us a third variant. Okay, so now you see it was pretty simple. In a split second, we have a third variant here. We have financial services, copy one, okay? So now that we have that, let's go into edit mode. Now it's it's, basically a copy, right? So what we're going to do in this pretend scenario is we're simply going to test uh, different headlines. And to make this as easy as possible, I'm just gonna copy this, copy this headline, and I'm actually going to fire up ChatGPT. And this isn't a video on ChatGPT, but it, it makes it a lot easier to be able to um, to be able to come up with the headlines, right? Especially if we're doing uh, training videos like this. So I, I'm going to tell ChatGPT, um, give me ten additional headline ideas for the the following. All right, so we're going to see what that comes up with and we're just gonna take one and create another version. And you can do this all day long, right? <laughs> Providing that you have um, you have sufficient traffic. Um, and that's really, really important, especially when you're doing A-B testing. You wanna make sure you have enough traffic, otherwise the results are statistically insignificant and you're not going to really learn anything. So let's just pick one. Um, I'll just say secure your future. Okay, so we're leading with a benefit statement, which is great. I could have picked any of these, but we're just going to say secure your future, the ultimate financial services for your retirement goals. Hopefully that's not too long. So we're going to go back over here. Yeah, it's actually going to be too long. Um, I'm going to say uh, do it again, but keep word count under, I don't know, uh, 15. Let's see what that looks like. Uh, that might be too much as well. Let's see. Oh, that's pretty good. Um, <clears throat> all right. All right. We're, let's just say, okay, it's, this is probably something I wouldn't normally choose, but you know, I would be, I definitely, it's a combination of, of, um, 
you know, creativity using your own brain, of course, and then also trying to get some ideas from from AI. But it, for for this particular example, I'm just going to make it as simple as possible. We're going to use this. Okay, that last example that ChatGPT gave us. So we're going to say retire with confidence and comfort, and we will go with that. So that'll be our third um, test that we do. All right. So I'm going to save that. And I'm going to go back over into the previous page that we were looking at. All right, so scrolling back down, we have our first, this is the page that we created. Now we have our challengers, right? So I'm going to rename this just to keep everything organized, retire with confidence and comfort. And then what we need to do is change our weights because this is 50. So we need to make sure that we are at 33, you know, I don't think we'll be able to get there exactly. So we're going to have to go 33, then maybe 34 on this last one. All right. So there we have it. Okay. So um, we will now have uh, three different variants running and being distrib distributed equally. Now you could have changed the weight. I could have, I could have said, uh, this one is our winner. Like if this was the, the true champion, I could have said, I want to continue going with that one at 50%, but I also want to test some new variants and maybe I'll distribute, um, the two new variants at 25% each. So it maintains performance, but also allows, um, testing. Okay. So that's, that's a possibility as well. All right, so we have that set. Um, and at this point, we need to, before anything happens, we need to, we need to be able to publish it. So otherwise, it's not going to, we haven't done anything. All we've done is we've created it basically in staging, and now we need to push it live. So we are pushing that live. And if I were to open another browser, um, let's say I open Firefox or Safari, and, and, and I'd go into... Um, you know, privacy mode and, and I do a refresh, I'll have a, you know, 33.3% chance of, of getting a, um, a different version, right? So it's like, so it's one, one out of three. Um, and that's all there is to it. So then you watch this over time. And again, you know, I can't stress this enough. You have to have enough traffic. You can't do this if you're just getting hundreds of people to your website. Otherwise, you're not going to really learn anything. And you're going to get these confidence levels here that Unbounce will share with you as to, you know, whether or not you can uh, confidently say, um, this is definitely a winner, this is what we should do. And it says, indicates whether your challenger has seen enough traffic to say confidently, um, these results are reliable. So keep an eye on that for sure, all right? Um, some ideas, bonus here. So there's a lot of different things you can test. One thing I would say is don't test too many things at once. That is a very common mistake. Say, and, it, and it's really easy to get you know crazy with this stuff, right? You can. It's really simple to be going. Okay, I want to test a headline and an image, and and let's test a button color and this, that, and the other. And then if you're testing too many uh, variables. You have no idea what actually drove the um, the performance. You have no way. So test things independently, one at a time. Headlines are great to test. Uh, headline images, offers are amazing to test. So make sure you're testing different offers. You can test uh, pages that have a, a small form versus a long form. Uh, you can test uh, a short page versus the long page. Uh, there's a lot of different ways to go about this. So you, you should have a testing schedule and give it enough time. You know, it could be you're waiting for like a month, two months, three months before you make a decision. Okay, again, depending on traffic. But then if you're a big company and you're throwing, you know, millions and millions of, of clicks to the, to the page, then you can make these uh, decisions rather quickly, right? So it really depends on your budget and, and the volume of traffic. Um, here's kind of a neat uh, spreadsheet. Uh, I'm not even sure where I found this, but this is uh, 100 headline formulas to increase your clicks and conversions. Uh, so if you're testing headlines, you can kind of see, you know, headline type, uh, formula, and then an example, uh, just to kind of get the creative juices going. Uh, you know, there's a whole bunch here, and I will link to this in the description. All right. So jumping back over into Unbounce, um, let's just go through these options here that you have.
So we were already in A-B testing mode. Okay, so again, that's splitting traffic across two or more page variants. Now, uh, Unbounce has this thing called Smart Traffic. This is a completely different video that I will do at some point, but it's uh, delivering personalized vis visitor experience. Um, so convert higher AI, it's a, so artificial intelligence sends traffic to the page variant most likely to convert. Okay, so that's something that's important as well. And then standard, if we're like, okay, we've done our testing, we know what works. We're just gonna send traffic to one page variant only. And that's it. Okay, so hopefully you found value in this. If you did, please give it a like. Subscribe to the channel. I'll be doing a lot more uh, videos here shortly. Um, let me just mention this one last time because it's such a great deal. If you're on the fence about Unbounce, you know, or if you're ready to sign up, um, you can get this deal. So go to brandrocket.net forward slash Unbounce. All right, that's it. Have a great day. Again, please subscribe. Give it a like. We'll talk soon. Thank you so much.